Welcome back to the program. It's still Daybreak Africa. Now, as you probably already know, artificial intelligence, also known as AI, is slowly gaining ground in countries across the world, especially in the United States and China, which have started adopting artificial intelligence. And um, you also find it in countries like the United Kingdom. Uh, the concept of AI is gradually being accepted over uh, all over the world both in developed countries and underdeveloped countries we have a lot of uh, ai tools available now and we also have a lot of ai testers and i think that's one of the major one of the minor money making parts of uh, artificial intelligence generally and you find that uh, this has become a tool that has become has in increasingly become uh, interesting one of them is uh, chat gpt where you find that people are able to write articles news stories or even their entire project using uh, a chat gpt and from there you can also make make research ask questions or even entertain yourself with uh, words from that artificial intelligence now it doesn't end there there are robots there are lots of other machineries that are available there's 3d printing and it's all uh uh, permit me to use the word going crazy out there in the world at the moment now uh, this we will be discussing this morning and we have uh, titled it artificial intelligence in Nigeria is it acceptable at the moment what are the odds that uh, Nigerians will adapt to it I mean we've seen a lot of technological advances in Nigeria that people are even yet to accept maybe for cultural reasons or for many other reasons that I might not be able to talk about joining us to discuss this this beautiful morning is Adida Mola Adeosi welcome to the program Yo, yeah, well, thank you. I hope um, I pronounced your name correctly. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Oh, okay. thank you so much thank for, you joining so much us. for joining us. And now, that Mola is a developer, and uh, he told us he used to be a lawyer. So I think I will start from that, <laughs> from that part. Like I said before, AI testing uh, is like the minor money making part because the developers and uh, the what's it called? They are the ones who will make the major, the major money. money. So mm -hmm. let me know. Is it the money that that? chased you from law into uh, artificial <laughs> intelligence or you've had maybe a flair for it from maybe when you were young and all of that oh okay um actually personally i i was driven by passion actually i've been doing tech since i think my hundred level even before wow. i gained admission to, wow. to wow. study law so mm. so i so kind of when i was in law so i was already thinking about of a way to combine law which take mm. so that makes me to come um, cyber but, law um, and all of that precisely what factor in tech attracted you mm, you know there are people mechanic. that um, for example I'm, very, I'm sorry to interrupt you for example um there's a money paying app that a site that the federal government and many nigerians use not just one we have flutter we have remita and the rest of yeah, them of course. and many of them saw that there was a problem yeah. and mm -hmm. that could be fixed with internet and computer that is already available in the country and the just delved into it so what was that uh, triggering factor that made you shift from uh, that caused uh, the shift from law to ai okay so uh, let me start from my childhood okay. i enjoy movies mm. so much so i i love sci-fi movies so that's mm. one of my that's one of my do things that was my favorite so mm -hmm. This actually prompted me. So when I discovered there's something called um, programming, coding, creating stores and seeing them, like, wow, mm -hmm. when you create something from, the, from your house and everybody can access it all about mm -hmm. the world. So those, that kind of thought looks very, very amazing to mm -hmm. me. So, mm -hmm. so that was what prompted me to start checking out stores. So basically it's the inquisitiveness of childhood. You see it, a, a gadget and you're like, ah, is this thing good to work? Yes, exactly. And then you just want to research yes, it. Okay, great. Yeah, so, um, Let's, we've, we've talked about how you started, of okay. course, from child, and it's very, you know, many people actually start, you know, have interest um, in tech and other things, other fields, basically, mm -hmm. from their childhood. So let's talk about you um, as a developer and, you know, artificial intelligence in Nigeria. So let us start from um, artificial intelligence. What is, it, what is it exactly? Because many people can hear, oh, AI here, mm -hmm. AI there. Many people don't even know that most of the apps, you know, that we use or most of the softwares that are coming up right now are based on, you know, artificial intelligence. So what exactly is it in layman's term? You don't have to use all these, you know, technological okay. terms <laughs> yeah, and sure. all Explain that. Yes. As if you are explaining to so, the average man. Yes. Oh, okay. So this is what um, artificial intelligence means from the word artificial. Mm -hmm. 
not natural. Mm. Every human has natural intelligence. intelligence right? So we want computers to be able to do exactly the way humans do, perform the same task mm. by mimicking human beings. Mm. So that's how artificial intelligence came up. Mm. So we want, like what you are doing right now, so somebody could say that, okay, fine, I want a computer to do the same thing as what you're doing right, right now. So that's mm. artificial intelligence. Mm. So that's what it means. Wow. Okay, I think I saw, I saw something like that about maybe seven years ago. Uh, where China was developing, there was a robot that actually took up the news mm -hmm. in China. And then I think about a year after that, I saw, I was watching um, a documentary okay. on AI. And um, one of the persons who was against the development of such intelligence, he said something, he said, he's not totally against it. But, but it should be, it should, it should, we as humans or the creators and the developers should make sure that these things are safe for human beings. Now, he cited an example and said, if you have a, a drone uh, AI okay. that, wants, that is going to war mm -hmm. okay. and, is, uh, and has gone to a village, you okay. sent it to a village to shoot down the enemies. Okay. The AI may not necessarily be able to think like a human being. Now, if a human pilot is in a plane and is about to bomb a village, okay. and he gets to that village and says that, oh, these are civilians. We actually thought the enemies were here, but no, but not the enemies. Mm -hmm. They're just normal civilians living their lives. Now, the human pilot, the natural intelligence, will tell the human pilot that, no, I'm not supposed to shoot these people mm -hmm. down, inform the boss, and maybe the uh, mission will be annulled. Okay. But with AI, how possible it is because that person was saying if an, if you send AI to shoot down the village, you will just go there and, and carry out the yes, exactly. <laughs> and that will be the end. So I know there are the there's the positive side. Before we move into the positive side, I just wanted us to quickly highlight on that. How possible do you think that um, AI or how, how safe rather do you think that AI would be for humans in the nearest future? And don't forget that a lot of people will be losing their jobs too. Yeah. Okay. So we have to consider yeah. that when you are talking about the safety okay. for human beings. Oh, okay. This is a very, very brilliant question because this has been, this question has been on the internet. Everybody's asking this question. Mm -hmm. Big corporations, the individuals, businesses are asking this kind of question. Mm. Like the example you cited about sending a drone to a village mm -hmm. and the drone cannot tell between when to arrest or when to shoot. Mm -hmm. So let's give an example. If you send, if you send a police to go and arrest some armed robbers, mm -hmm. so when the robbers, like, cooperates with them they are, they are allowed to arrest them Easily. but when it's and when the they are opening fire then mm -hmm. they, can they can defend also. themselves yes. so how does it how does um ai, AI. knows when to fire and when not when to fire not that's to the question right, right. Yes. okay mm -hmm. this is this is brilliant um currently ai does not have emotions mm. Mm. ai does not have emotions then we have several concepts coming up these days called agi Mm. After AI, they are talking about something called AGI. Mm. AGI means Artificial General Intelligence. Mm. Okay. So this is this is a, this is a stage whereby AI becomes self-aware. Mm. They become self-conscious. Mm. So that means they can think for themselves. They become autonomous mm. and they become more like human and Isn't they become super be intelligent. Isn't, Isn't that, that going to be a risk? Key? Because we know that, okay. you know, I, 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 see it, so I, I see that in movies. We, That's why I said movies a lot. And then really, we know that really at some safe. point when, you know, developers build a robot or maybe okay. an AI tool and th this AI tool has you know, emotions and all of that. At, at some point, they sort of turn back, turn their backs on their developers and uh, everything is a disaster at the end of the day. Yeah, so yeah. It's like, at okay, that, like movies like, like movies like Terminator, like Matrix, <laughs> Ready Player One. Okay, I guess it's like... Everybody in the world currently, like right now, has a position. People are some people are, are on, the, on the side of AI cannot turn against against its creators, mm -hmm. and some are like this. If this thing goes out of hand, and one of the example is Elon Musk. Elon Musk said that people should slow down on AI. Mm -hmm. Now, when he when he when he mentioned this, it makes everybody in the AI space to start thinking to star. Where are we actually going to? Mm -hmm. What, if what this, are we trying to achieve? What if this? erase humanity what if we created an ai one day then looks at human being and be like you guys are the problem let us wipe them off so people are scared right now and some said that ai won't wipe up in wipe humanity mm -hmm. that we should like when normal thing is that look let's put an example like this it's a brain that is functioning properly is meant to be good right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. when we develop an ai that has 
good potentials. Developers created it for good uh, purposes. Mm -hmm. So it will never go out of that. But, but you know that, um, I want to argue that a bit. Okay. Although I'm the presenter, but I would like to argue <laughs> yeah, sure, yes. a bit. And that's because you know that um, even the natural intelligence that we have, okay. I mean, let's assume, or let's just say, whether you're a Christian or Muslim or not, okay. what the, the general belief is that God created all of us. That's the most popular belief. Mm -hmm. And if God created all of us and okay. has put good in, in our hearts, hearts and people are still killing each other, throwing themselves under the bus, snitching on others. Mm -hmm. well, my point is the natural intelligence is not even balanced enough. Thank you. For us to now allow artificial you know, intelligence. But let's leave that too because we were not here to condemn AI. AI. Now let's talk about the good part. I've seen a lot of apps. Yeah, or the thing is like we can't talk about the good side without mentioning the bad side also. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's like two way thing. Just I like let's give example like okay. fire. Like fire. Mm -hmm. Fire is bad and fire is good. Right. So it has advantages and it has disadvantages. So everything in everything on it has advantages and disadvantages. And it is very, very important that while you are creating something it is very very important that you weigh both sides mm -hmm. so you can because you can be responsible you should be responsible for your products right you don't want to create a product that will cause damage to mm -hmm. to like do the reverse of what you want mm -hmm. it to do mm -hmm. so it is very very important we can we consider the bad side of it also mm -hmm. like you mentioned something about um jobs people losing their jobs yeah, yeah i think i saw it i think was it a tweet or a blog post this mm -hmm. morning about 70 percent of indians are afraid of losing their jobs to AI. Mm -hmm. so it's um consigning this like i think i've even seen like presenting i think i i and some of my team members we researched about some couple of ais last year was it last year last year then we found out some ais that can do like presenting yeah cgt from, and did it they tested it and it was successful yeah the and because that. of the success the people in china panicked and due to that panic the government had to ban the use of ai for presenting oh. because yes it happened i think about five years ago it's been like four or five years ago if i'm not mistaken and the government just had to ban Money. the use of ai for that purpose and china is one of the most tech advanced countries that mm -hmm. you can talk about in the world right now so the fear was that if this thing takes over because the That's uh, uh ai robot was able to cast the news for i think an hour and there was no, no issue it was actually everyone. successful no. but everybody was like no we can't use we it can't yet. do this that's like maybe like seven percent or five percent of the population losing their jobs because there's just one, one robot, robot. That, and you know the robot will not get tired if i cast the news for two hours so it's not it's not going to get tired and chinese government had to ban it so that's why i eventually wrapped up that particular question with the safety of ai for humans generally okay i I'll, I'll come up with that like i'll come in from there it was banned right mm -hmm. there's one thing about um technology technology is not just one region right. it's everybody it's globalized mm -hmm. so while you ban some certain technology from one region you can't ban from the rest of the region right. and because technology is globally mm -hmm. why you stop not using why you do, why, while your country your region stops not to use it and that region is already using it mm. now don't forget that what ai aims to do is to make things easier make things faster no, but and make okay. life easier for humans mm -hmm. <laughs> okay you know, it's 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 easier but in the long run people are losing, losing people are okay. Yeah, yes. okay like losing I, jobs i, I think it's just like lo robotics part lo though. losing people losing jobs is it's not something we can help right now the only thing though i think we've had many discussion around this so what people recommend is that if you like ai is going to revolutionize and disrupt every industry true mm -hmm. very true mm -hmm. so we talked about the presenting part right now mm -hmm. so if we talk even the programmers developers yesterday someone sent something to me about an ai that can write codes mm, okay so that's so what, what does that mean so it means that sooner or later ai will be able to write independently write, mm -hmm. codes write code and create and another technology so we have i think i saw an ai do you know sharp gpt4 not three now. Mm. I think the ones that is available. Before, yes, yeah, so the, the GPT, one is three. Yeah, yeah three. So, mm -hmm. ChatGPT four. There was one um, one part of it that uh, that is autonomous. Oh, uh, ChatGPT. Mm. So that one has autonomy. From the word autonomy, autonomy is that you are independent. Yeah, independent. So yeah. now, when we have something like that, that 
or like or independently come up with there's a problem in the society they will need to solve it then when that one comes for the problem likely solutions then the ones who do the particular ai that does the programming just creates the application mm. Mm. so yeah. now let's look at it from the aspect <clears throat> of human like this is not a dystopian uh, age like I think that is even um, it, I think that is even possible. It's an illusion. Mm. We keep having to solve problems. Mm. So this AI, so this AI are meant to create to create what solutions to all those problems. So mm. if we look at it from the um, the uh, from the positive side, this AI can if this AI can independently like solve human problems. Well, um, I agree that AI will solve a lot of problems, yeah, but about, I just hope oh, they don't create more problems. Okay. In the I, end. Yeah, okay. Because when the people you, whose problem you want to solve become unemployed, okay. then what, what do you say? Is? Okay, you know, when a new technology comes up, mm -hmm. it takes some people out of business. Right. Very true. Out of jobs. Then it creates but jobs. But massively, with. like AI would it's probably crazy. do. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> and the thing is, you know, the, the people that suffer, um, you know, unemployment the most are the very the unskilled laborers. Right. When we go to, you know, factories no, and you see that machines are taking over. You know, so many Grace, things that in this case, okay, that same channel you mentioned. Most skilled, that unskilled, unskilled <laughs> and semi-skilled. Okay, Even that politicians will suffer. That same channel. That same channel. That same channel you mentioned. That same channel you mentioned. Was, I think two years ago, I was researching about how phones are created, mm. every component, chips that make up a phone. Then I found a particular company in China that was that had loads, thousands of workers. Then all of a sudden, they laid off thousands, like, like more than 50% of mm. the workers. Mm. Then they brought in robots. So they called them cobotics. Cobotics are robots that work collaboratively with humans. Mm. Okay. So they don't have this, they don't have the intelligence to think about themselves, but they perform a repetitive task. Now, when we think about most of the jobs people do, it's repetitive, like just come out, do the same thing, mm -hmm. do the same thing, mm -hmm. do the same thing. So that way, uh, it's easy for AI to easily take away your job if mm -hmm. what you do is just repetitive. It does not mm -hmm. require the creative aspect right. of it. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's why currently, the specialist, you are in the creative field, you are safe just currently like we can i can live here and another news could come up about an ai from probably us right. and just come up that this ai has the ability to think independently creatively mm -hmm. to come up with stuff so i'm just saying currently so what was everything i'm saying right now is based on the current one mm -hmm. going on in the world right now mm -hmm. so when ai comes in it makes some people lose their jobs then it creates job for some people mm -hmm. now this is how it works like this is technology so when you realize that ai is already coming into your industry mm. so the best advice i will give everyone is to maximize ai yeah. start using it <laughs> start evolving <laughs> exactly okay. okay yeah i remember okay. one time that someone asked me can you send me a proposal for this and that i was busy with something else so i told him give me some minutes this is not possible some years ago just give me some minutes then i went into such a pity then i can you please give me that too i know so, i haven't like used no, you should. Sure. So, 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 I, mean, I, I, I don't know you why. I write your complete thesis. The, the point is, I feel like I, I have my mind, I have my brain, I can actually think. I, okay. That is me. Yes, okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 As a journalist, there are stories, news stories that I want to rewrite, and I can rewrite them without okay. chat GPT okay, or whatever it's called. And then maybe due to some reasons you just find out okay you need to get this thing in like done in like 30, 30 seconds. seconds you just go there and then, yeah you that's know, the thing that you want that's things done like AI. fast and mm. as soon as possible okay. and besides that right. it has um it gives it, it goes into the internet like normally when you want to write you go into the internet you go online to search about references get mm -hmm. knowledge yeah. about what you want to right. write about mm -hmm. so this could take time very true right Those, especially the references. Takes time. now a lot. Mm -hmm. this does it in few seconds mm -hmm. so what you just need to do is shut your pc can you open so it goes pew, then gets it right for you mm -hmm. in a few seconds yeah. so <laughs> if you're looking at there was a time a friend met a friend met with me he's into illustrations arts and all that mm -hmm. so he was complaining that there's an ai called out there right now called mid journey mm -hmm. um dolly and many of that like that creating art 
in few seconds. In few seconds, yes. The art that takes them a lot of time for them to create. So we're looking at so my advice was just that bro, just embrace this thing. <laughs> just okay. use it start mm. using it then because not everyone like when you try to write prompts there's even a job currently called a prompt engineering so when mm. this came out there's something called prompt engineering, engineering as a job so you can become a prompt engineer then start writing prompts to generate ads art. for mm. people not anyone can come to um to use the app to use the software to generate their own mm. um mm. arts okay, okay. So, uh, you know, let, let's just streamline it back to Nigeria. Okay. Um, AI is accepted, you know, in other countries, but now talking about Nigeria, um, you are a researcher, you've, you know, spoken to so many people when it comes to the tech space, the tech field. Do you think that it's, you know, well accepted in Nigeria? We know that it's coming up, but um, let's say in, in five years' time, in seven years' time, do you think that it's something that would be, you know, everywhere, um, in schools, in you know, in the market places and all of that, is this something that would be everywhere? Okay. Um, this, uh, I first mentioned that this is a global com community right now. Mm -hmm. The world is becoming globalized, becoming one gradually. And when a technology comes out, out there, some people are already creating it right here too. So just like I mentioned, I'm a founder, I have a co-founder team working on an AI. Mm -hmm. And likewise, there are also some founders in different parts of the world. Mm -hmm in africa everywhere now let me mention one particular uh, ai that surfaced in china that really caused a very big noise mm. and for regulation called for regulation and all of that it's called deep fake i don't know if you've heard yeah, about it. I have. yeah so this deep fake works like this can make you see <laughs> it can make you said you. what you didn't <laughs> of course so it can implicate people mm -hmm. it can you can I can impersonate to be yes. like you, then commit atrocities, crimes, and all. <laughs> and what people will see is our face, not mine. Not, wow. So this is deep fake. So this deep fake, when it went online, I think the first one, there, I won't be mentioning the name of the software on here because mm -hmm. I think people use it for, okay. Mm -hmm. This particular software, the guys that created it, created it just to like prank their friends. So they just created it that, ah, I want to prank my friend come up as something else, come up as someone else, rather than to prank my friends, do sort of things. So that was what it was created. But people are using it for bad things right yes. now. Yeah, mm -hmm. for crimes. And we have videos of certain politicians yeah, I've seen things that they did not, not see. So I've seen, I've, seen, I've seen on Instagram about all these different videos where people use it for bad things. Mm -hmm. So when AI, so there are different AI in Nigeria currently now. These are Nigerians, like those who are into fraud, using mm -hmm. it for fraud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm you get what i'm saying right. so it's the ai once something comes up you, it's, it is not location based mm. now it is not a government that can now stand that we want to regulate this thing just like what china did china is looking at how to regulate the deep fake videos not to surface online mm. in china so government in nigeria also can also regulate this mm. in nigeria mm. also but but uh, well maybe this is my own personal opinion i feel it should be temporarily banned Mm. Until okay. it is gotten right, but I don't think trial and error will work we'll for, work for it. <laughs> it's too risky. Imagine this thing. Okay. Imagine there's a video of me somewhere, anywhere, saying that the president should be cute. <laughs> <laughs> And then well, that's, that's, a, that's very very risky. Um, that's one of bad. the reasons why we but need we need more of tech experts right. in this space. Or we don't have enough in this country. Or else things are going to happen so we need many people who are very knowledgeable about text okay, okay. um i want us to talk about um the more acceptable ai and um, what's it called developments or uh, applications or website or as the case may be uh the ones that are human friendly that are not as controversial that's the word okay. and they're not as controversial as the deep fakes the um, robotics and all of that uh, that are available in Nigeria and people are not aware of that um, can help our daily task uh, just make it a lot easier. Okay, so there are different, there are lots of AIs right now, hundreds of them are available in Nigeria. Yeah, they are available for everyone all over the world. Oh, right. mm -hmm. So they are not um, location, location based. based. I'm not sure there's anyone right now that is location based. Okay. But all the softwares are available for emans, everybody. So mm. because most times when people try to create AI, so what we have in mind is that we're trying to solve a problem. For the global community for everybody so for everyone to be able to benefit 
from these um, developments mm -hmm. because we the 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 the, the software is are meant to solve problems for for man mm. so anyway there's man so you can you use can them use so them. i i just advise that people should get themselves acquainted with current ai is coming up every day mm -hmm. because it won't take you by surprise so mm. it won't take you by surprise because it's disrupting many industries mm. and it won't disrupt everybody one so it won't disrupt the people who knows how to use it mm. so your boss could come in to work one day and say fine i who knows how to use the software it makes mm. it faster um it makes your work faster so mm. whoever says they can use it that's gets who the, the boss yeah yes. gets the job so mm. and one thing about AI, i would very very honest with you right now so ai cuts down the number of workers that you use in your company mm. so it reduces it that's what it does like so ai can perform the task of like 10 people more than 10 people so if you can it. use the ais then you just got yourself another job mm. you know you know talking about people who use it we know that now the younger generation the youths and the upcoming you know um, generations are the ones that are very much inclined with everything that has to do with ai now we're speaking about the older generation many of them i, I can i, uh, I, I, I can re recollect uh, very well you know servants. during covid um covid period mm. when schools were you know had to shut down and students were had to, had to take classes online I, I had my mom, my mom um, was a teacher and she had to, you know, download Zoom to teach. So it wasn't Zoom or so, a particular application. Okay. But it was sort of difficult for her to, you know, to really, you know, yes, go through the whole not, process. Because it. exactly. And we see that this is coming up every time. Imagine during COVID, many, many people had to, you know, start using apps on their phone, different software, just to make sure that life goes on for them. Um, so what, what can we do about that? We know that the youth the um, children coming up don't have any issues but the older generation what can be done um something about AI is that i mentioned some a concept called agi the other time and agi is there's a man called um carl i think yes call yes ray rather his name is ray call words i think call words or so the man made the prediction that agi is going to be uh, it made something it said something about singularity singularity a age whereby man is man will become match with technology mm -hmm. and he said about i think 2039 or so so that was his predictions so this is not some disagree with this prediction mm -hmm. saying that we might never achieve agi machines will never be as smart as the human mm -hmm. maybe very very late parts of the sense maybe after after 100 years maybe that could happen but not anytime soon so mm -hmm. even big also said it's not going to happen anytime soon I think I read one of his letters that said it's not going to happen anytime soon. So what I would just say is that situations we like might warrant that these people uses this particular AI. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, okay. Um, you mentioned something about 2020 when it was COVID. Mm -hmm. That your mom had to use Zoom and all of that. So it's gradual process. Let me just put it that way. It's a gradual hmm. process. They might not start adopting it like immediately immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. immediately so they will just start from something mm -hmm. i think i see i've seen i've seen people who doesn't who doesn't use fintech apps who doesn't even trust fintech apps right in this mm -hmm. category yes. so, yeah. so, so it's gradual like when the there money crisis was, even as little as their atm cards they just believe mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. safe and that's just it for so them. it's people will keep adopting it little gradual. by little yes. gradually by gradually okay uh basically uh necessity is the mother of invention okay. so when it's necessary people will have to use it thank you so much for joining thank us you very we much. Uh, appreciate your coming all right, all right you. this is where we drop the curtain on this uh, segment of daybreak africa we'll go on a quick break now when we return the program continues to stay with us